What is going on YouTube land? This is Chris Catalunya and I'm just here right now at work. It's about noon. I'm excited because in four hours I get off and I'm heading straight to Nice Kicks. And I'm heading straight to Nice Kicks because Nice Kicks got crazy on their social medias, whether Twitter or Instagram, and they said they're announcing five shoes that they are dropping this weekend. So those five shoes are the Jordan 1 Retros and the Shadow Colorway, the Yeezy 500 Blushes, the Adidas and Undefeated Collaboration, the Ultra boost which are the black ones and the adidas and uh, undefeated collaboration where they're releasing the adidas at zero shoes and this shoe is coming in two colorways black and tan now i'm really excited for this release because they said they're gonna release it in a first come first serve basis and y'all already know that i am king of first come first serve now i don't know how hype these shoes are so I, right after work at four o'clock i'm gonna go straight to nice kicks which is about five minutes away and i'm going to just see if there's a line there hopefully there's no line there because i really don't feel like camping out but if worse comes to worse i already have my car packed and i'm ready to go What is going on y'all? So I'm here at Nice Kicks Austin. Um, I pulled up at four o'clock and I think I'm like number four or five in line. I posted up two chairs because me and my friend were gonna stay here all night. We're gonna camp out. And I think now there's about 15 people in line. Again, they're releasing five different shoes. So let's see what we cook up. So it's about nine o'clock right now. The store opens up at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we got a while to go and I'm feeling pretty sticky right now. I just want these shoes. I want this night to be over with. Uh, I have my sleeping bag ready, so I'm about to crash out. Um, God, it's hot outside right now. Right now it's about 89 degrees at night. But yeah, it's supposed to dip into the low 50s. So we'll see what happens. in the morning and the doors nice kicks is about to open they're gonna take up some sizes uh, so the game plan I think now is kind of changing a little bit as we go is I'm gonna take like a size 14 in the Yeezy blushes and then uh, for the Jordan shadows I'm gonna just take my normal size at nine in Austin and I traveled down to Houston to visit family my niece she's getting her baptismal so I have to go do the thing but we'll get into the shoe review after this
All right, guys, so let's get into the first impression of these shoes. Now, the first shoe is the Jordan 1 Retro. It is the shadow colorway, and I'm glad they brought this back. Um, I didn't catch this one when it came out previously, the first couple times, but I'm glad I got it now. Uh, lots of people, if you look at other YouTube reviews, they're saying that this is uh, definitely the more superior shoe compared to those. Uh, I, I definitely equate this on uh, the level of like the bread toes, the quality is just legit. Um, I'm glad I picked this one up and I got this one in a size nine. Retail, it cost about $160 for this. Resale, you're probably looking to spend about $215 to about $300, just depending on the sizing and the places that you're going to pick this up at. It's definitely a necessary colorway, especially if you love Jordans. Now my first impression of this shoe, this is the Yeezy 500 in the blush colorway. Looking at online reviews uh, and looking at other people's YouTube videos, I really thought this shoe was the most hideous thing on the planet. I mean, looking at it, looking at the heel, looking at the sole, this thing is just hideous. But it took me a while to come around and you know, this shoe is actually not that bad. It looks like uh, a desert storm boot, something like military grade. And I wasn't able to get a size 14. I was able to get a size nine. Retail on these are about $200. Looking at resale, you're only looking to get about 298. Uh, maybe if you sit on it for a while, you can get more than that. Now, the thing that caught my eye with this shoe is that on the sole, you'll see that it says Adiprene. Now, Adiprene is something that you usually see on like dames or basketball shoes. So I thought that was pretty cool. For those that were wondering if the midsole was made out of boost material, no. These are actually made out of adiprene, and it actually says it on the sole of the shoe. And adiprene is typically found in like basketball shoes from Adidas, so you can look at like the dames, and they those come with adiprene. Adiprene tends to be a lot more firmer than boost material, so if you're looking for that cushioning, that bouncy feeling, you're not gonna find it in adiprene. But you'll definitely find more support in this. So recapping, first impression of this shoe, wasn't a fan, but I'm definitely a fan now. So that is gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna hang out with my fam here in Houston, Texas. Gonna eat up some crawfish and whatnot. But go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification button so when I pop up with a new video, you'll know. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And that is it for now. I'll check you later. Cheers.